Hey guys, Glenn here. I am back with more pops. This time I'm doing Walgreens exclusives, but I'm breaking it up into two because there's a bunch of them. So I'm going to start off with three pops. This will be a shorter video. We've got three of the Star Wars um, Walgreens exclusive. So we'll start with a little bit of an older one. This is Mace Windu. You see the Walgreens exclusive there, number 172. And he's uh, set up with General Grievous and Qui-Gon. Two more exclusives as well. Then we've got Clone Commander Cody with the little hologram of the Emperor. I believe that's who that is. Ready to execute Order 66. This is number 176, and he's in there with that set, which actually is a weird set to be with because there's a lot of different... You know, there's Princess Leia Hoth, there's Yoda from Dagobah. It's kind of a, a Empire Strikes Back, Back set there. And also some, it's just kind of random Star Wars pops in there with this set. But this one is the Walgreens exclusive Clone Commander Cody. And lastly, the re very recent one, this is the Medical Droid, number 212. So you can see that's one, definitely one of the later ones. And you can see the same set as with the others, or at least with uh, Cody, and this is the medical droid. So, let's check out these three pops and see what they're all about. Okay, here is the Walgreens exclusive Mace window. This is number 172, and we can see his box there, pretty plain backing, um, and then he's shown with General Grievous and Qui-Gon, also um, exclusives. Here's the thing, I didn't get Mace window until fairly recently, and um, I just, I'd seen them in places, but I just hadn't picked them up from, for whatever reason. So I decided to go ahead and grab them when I saw them uh, a third or fourth time. And I'm glad I did, because the first thing I notice is his lightsaber. And I don't know if this speaks to his manliness, but that is the straightest lightsaber I've ever seen on a pop figure. If you've noticed other lightsabers, they tend to get a little bent, you know, or not. This one is flying straight and narrow. It looks great with his uh, with his purple lightsaber. Um, the only thing I don't like is this is one of those pops too. He's kind of facing up instead of when he should be doing that. You know, and that again, that could be very well be a function of just um, just the packing and this particular pop. Other ones might look a little better that way, but I don't like the fact that he's looking up. And you can actually see the spring on his neck from look, working, looking straight on. I like that this is an action pop. He's ready to go. But I don't like about some Star Wars pops too, if you look at the stand, let's say that you have the stand going straight ahead like you would in your display. Well, now he's looking off to the side. I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's what we want, but if you want to have him looking ahead, then the Star Wars logo's on the side and the stand isn't quite right. So it's kind of a personal preference, I guess. But it's just weird to me that, you know, unless unless that's the design. If that's the design, he's supposed to be looking off to the right, then they've got the stand right. If it's not, if these figures are supposed to be looking straight ahead, then it doesn't work quite right that way. But other than that, great looking pop figure. Um, again, don't like the head, but they've got the pouch. Um, he's got a little, a little weathering on his Jedi robes, which is a good touch. And he, his eyebrows, he's, he's stern as his character should be in the prequel. So that is Mace Windu, number 172. All right, it's Clone Commander Cody. This is number 176, Walgreens exclusive. Clone Commander Cody, Obi-Wan's second in command for most of the Clone Wars and his good friend, which is why it was so tragic when he turned on him during Order 66. Uh, it looks like they just picked a range of Star Wars pops to include on the box. In this case, 120 through 127. Um, it's odd, he doesn't really fit in that, but I think they just picked six pops to put on there. And there we go. A couple things I just adore about this pop is number one, there's the Emperor. He's got the Emperor um, hologram telling him, uh, giving him Order 66 to um, fire upon his, eliminate his Jedi commander. Um, and the other thing I like about this is just the detail on it. 
Most trooper armor um, is very detailed, but this one just kind of knocks it out of the park. I mean, so much clap, you know, a contrast of color with the yellow and the white, um, but the black in the armbands. He's got his pouches. Look at the helmet. Uh, all this detail in here that didn't really need to be there, but all this detail. Um, he's got his accessories all over the place, even on his back and on the back of his arm. Just details that are great in a pop figure because pop figures have that simple sensibility that it's great to see when they do such fine detail work like this. Um, model looks good, the paint looks good, um, even the top, you look at the top of the helmet, it's got uh, the indentation there and symbols and it's just a very complex looking pop and probably the best trooper I've seen um, so far at least. Again, the, the newer the pop, the generally the better it looks. But uh, that just looks amazing. So that is Clone Commander Cody, number 176. All right, we've got Medical Droid. This is number 212 of the Walgreens exclusives. Um, looking at the box, they included uh, pretty much the same ones that they've been including on these Walgreens ones, which is just that six range of pops. So pretty much a, the same box as the Commander Cody one. Um, so this Medical Droid, one that uh, took care of Luke, when he was hurt, um, and you've, you've seen him in a couple of different places. I, You know what, as droids go, this is one of my favorite droid pop figures, and I think part of it is the color. The color just really stands out. I haven't really seen another pop of that color, at least one that wasn't glow-in-the-dark. It's got a shiny texture to it, even though it's not a metallic pop. They did a good job with the paint to make it seem that way. Um, and it contrasts well with the white. It just flows really well. It's a smooth looking pop figure. Um, it's got the details that you would expect in a droid pop, especially the arms. I love the robot arms there. And it just looks, it looks great, but that color just stands out so much to me. That's the thing that really draws me to this pop. Uh, again, it was available online. I'm not sure if it still is, but um, it's one of the newer releases. So that is Medical Droid number 212. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this up-close and personal look at three of the Walgreens exclusive pops, the Star Wars ones that I picked up. Uh, I've got a lot more on the way. Part two of the Walgreens haul is coming, and a lot more after that. So, as always, check out my social media off on the side. Hit me up on Patreon. Look for me on Twitch. A lot of great live streams coming up, as I keep saying, every video. And other than that, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.